twice as powerful. What's that actually mean? We're going to look at that right now. So we're going to talk a little bit about Richter scale and understand why the Richter scale works the way it does. You ready for that? Sure. It's kind of interesting, really. It deals with stuff that we see on a daily basis. If you watch the news and listen to earthquakes and, and such, and why an earthquake in the middle of the ocean can cause huge waves. <clears throat> Here's what the Richter scale formula is, how it's calculated. R, the reading on the Richter scale, is actually based on a logarithm. It's a log base 10. So it's a common log. And it has to do with A over T. Then after you calculate that logarithm, you add some B. Now, here's what those letters mean. Of course, a logarithm is a logarithm. We know what that is. That's on your calculator because, hey, the base is 10. A, that, that little a, is called the amplitude. Amplitude is a, is a wave reading, how much it's, it's rising and falling. T, that's the time between the waves. Now, I don't know everything about earthquakes because I'm a mathematician, so I can't pretend to tell you everything about the Richter scale, all right? I know what the A and the, and the T stand for. B is some kind of base. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a set number. It doesn't change for a certain area. I think it has something to do with the consistency of the ground. I, I really honestly don't know. Um, someday, maybe you can look that up and, and get back to me on that if you ever become earthquakeologists. <laughs> Geologists. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is some sort of a base that's not going to change for us. It'll be given to you. All, all these numbers are going to be given to you. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can calculate the Richter scale for an amplitude of 350 micrometers. where there are 3.2 seconds between the waves. With B equal to 2.5. Firstly, are you able to identify all the letters up there? Yeah. Can you tell me what the A is, what the T is, and what the B is? Those are the only three that we have. So let's go ahead and let's fill out this Richter scale reading. So the Richter scale in our case is still going to be a logarithm that doesn't change. The base, the base of the logarithm doesn't change. This B, that, that, that's going to be given to you. So this base, it's a log base 10 no matter what. So our A, what's our A in this case? Okay. What is our T? And then we're going to have plus 2.5 at the very end. Here's how you calculate this, this logarithm. On your calculators, you should do 350 divided by 3.2 and press enter. Don't round that number. Don't round that number. Now, take the logarithm of what you just got. Some of you, if you, can, if you had to press your numbers first, just press log right now, it'll give it to you. Others of you, if you press log right now, you're gonna have to use the answer button on your calculator. You hopefully can find the answer button, press second, and it's usually like above the equals or something. You press that, it'll plug in the number that you just found, press enter, and then add 2.5. How much did you get? 4.53? So about a 4.5? How many people were able to find the 4.5 on that? Okay, if you weren't able to find that in, in, in just a minute, Come and see me after class. I'll show you how to do that really quickly, okay? The, the math works out, though. We have a Richter scale reading of 4.5. Again, is that a big earthquake? It, it's, it's okay. I mean, you'd feel it. Well, that was kind of fun. Uh, that, that's about it. 
right? It's like a little roller coaster. It's not like an 8.0 which would flatten your house. Now, why? Why? What's, what's the thing here? I need you to understand what exactly you just found. Okay, look at the board here real quick. Notice that when you calculate a logarithm, what you're actually doing is calculating an exponent. What's the base of this logarithm? Ten. So what this is, is some power of 10. What that means is that if you raise that by 1, it's raising it by a factor of not 2, not 3, but 10. That means a 5.5 is going to be 10 times bigger than a 4.5. Do you guys get the idea? It's base 10. So why is an 8.0 that much bigger than a 5.0? Well, that's three factors of 10, or a thousand times worse. Does that make sense? So if you're going like this on a 5.0, multiply that by a thousand, and that's going to be an 8.0. That's why it's so much worse. A 10.0 isn't just twice as much as a 5.0. It's 10 to the fifth power more than a 5.0. That's my impression of the earthquake. Okay, but it'd be really, really bad. Do you guys have an idea about how the Richter scale works now? Yeah. Why, why one point is, is actually 10 times worse now? Because we're, we're dealing with a logarithm base 10. Do you guys feel okay with common logs? What's the base of a common log? <laughs> hey, you got it. Right. There's one other type of log that we deal with on almost a day-to-day -day basis, even though you, you don't even know this. Uh, the, log that we deal with also is called a natural log. Why is it called a natural log? Well, it deals with this really funny number that keeps on appearing in nature all the time. It, it, it's really weird. Uh, a natural log is simply a logarithm, so it works the exact same as every other log, except it has a base of, oops, we'll say a logarithm with a base of 10, not 2, not, not 3, E. A base of E. Now, is E a letter or a number? And the answer is, yeah. Huh. Yeah, it, it, of course, E's a letter. But it stands for a number, and this number doesn't change. It's not a variable. This guy way back in the day, his name was Leonard Euler. I know, awesome name, right? Um, <laughs> Leonard Euler lived in, in, in Germany. The, the last name isn't Euler like we would spell oil. It's E-U-L-E-R, okay, Euler. German. Uh, so this guy kept on seeing this number and, and kind of invented the way on how you find it pretty accurately. Uh, and they, they named it after him, called the Euler number, or E. E is about 2.71, I believe. Uh, let me go ahead and see. If you want to find E, press a 1 and press 2nd and press the LN button. It should be right near your your uh, your log button, or if you if you have to press your ln first, you'd press the e button and then the one. That's going to give you two point seven one eight two eight one eight two eight. Do you guys see that? That's the Euler number up to about what is that? Ten decimal places. It keeps going forever, never, never, never. So it's about two point seven two. That's what the Euler number is going to be for you. About two point seven two. So we're talking about a logarithm. with a base of about 2.72, or E. Now, you're never going to see this. In fact, I told you to look for a certain button, button on your calculator. If you look for the certain button, it's not log base E. It's not log base anything. Actually, it's written like this. It's written LN. It's so common that we have a special name for it. We call it the natural log. So where's the LN coming from? Log that's natural. That's what that says. It's not even written logarithm, but it still stands for a logarithm. So, what is this thing? Is it a logarithm? Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What's the base? The base is E. It's E. You don't have to say 2.72. You don't have to memorize that. The base is E. E. That's the base. Common log has a base of what? Ten. Natural log has a base of? E. Do you even write the E? No. Nope. You just have to know that when you see LN, that base is You know, it's still going to look like a logarithm. It's still going to have this shape to it. Remember that shape for logarithms? It's still going to be that because the E is bigger than 1. It's 2.72 approximately. It's still going to go through the point 1, 0. And on it, it's still going to be the point E, comma 1. 
because when you plug in E, you're going to get out 1. We'll talk about why just in just a bit. So it still looks exactly the same. This, by the way, is the LN on your calculator. Let's see if we can find some of these things. Can you do, just like we did with log, can you see if you can find, oh, what numbers did I give you for the logarithm? What were those, 21 and 15? Okay, let's see if we can find the same ones. Let's do ln now of 21. So again, on your calculator, if you had to plug in the log first, then the number, that's the same thing you're going to do with your ln. If not, if you had to plug in the number first and then the log, that's what you're going to do with your ln. However, are you going to press the log button or the ln button? Because we're, we're talking about LN, we're talking about a base of E. So press 21, then your LN button, or the LN button, then 21, depending on what calculator you have. What did you get? Error. 3.04, <laughs> <laughs> approximately? Yeah. How many people were able to find that if you have a calculator? Good. Now, wait a second. Look, look up here at the board with me real quick. What's it mean? <coughs> Very good. That's exactly what it means. Why is why is this number bigger than log of twenty one? Why is this number bigger than log of twenty one? You, you remember doing log of twenty one, right? You got one point something, didn't you? You do ln of twenty one, you get three point something. Why? Oh, what? So a log is base ten, yes. This is only base E, 2.72. So since 2.72 is a smaller number, you've got to raise it to a larger exponent to get the same exact things. Does that make sense to you? So your LNs will be smaller than your logs for the same value. Again, logs were 10 to what power gives you 21. This is about 2.72 to what power will give you 21. So it's going to be a smaller number. I'm oh, sorry, that's going to be a larger number to get the same exact value for our, our natural logs. Are you guys okay with the natural log so far? Mm -hmm. Try one more for me. Let's do uh, the L, what was the other value I gave you? 15. Do L and 15. Yeah. How much is L and 15? <laughs> so e to the 2.71 power would give you that 15. So, so far we've, we've talked about common logs base 10, we've talked about natural logs base E. Let's talk about a couple of these, these principles of natural logs because you are going to see these a lot of places, especially when you move on into your upper level mathematics. <clears throat> a couple little notes for you. Remember this. Do you remember how much that equaled log base B of B to the X? How much was that when I gave that to you a while back? It was the easy ones on your homework. You're like, yes, give me 30 of those. Well, that was X. Yeah, because whenever the bases were the same, you got the X going. Now, I could, I could also show this to you. If you look at that, you could move the X to the front, right? Log base B of B is 1 because B to raised to the first power gives you B. So you'd have X times 1, that gives you X. It's another way to prove it. I couldn't show that to you before, but I could actually show that to you now. Here's what it comes down to for logarithms. What if I have ln of E to the X? My question is, what is my base here? Do you guys see that this situation is this situation? Do you see that? This is log base B of B to the X. This is log base E of E to the X. Are the bases the same? So what, what's going to happen here? What's your, your value? 